ഹാപ്പി ഡേ ടു ഓൾ ദിസ് ഇസ് നിവേദിത്ത ഫൗണ്ടർ ഓഫ് ശ്രീ ആഹന ഫിസിയോതെറപ്പി അക്കാഡമി ആ ടുഡേസ് ടോപ്പിക് ഇസ് ഗോയിങ് ടു ബി അബൌട്ട് ദി പ്രിൻസിപ്പൽസ് ഓഫ് പി എൻ എഫ് ദി ഫസ്റ്റ് തിങ് ദാറ്റ് വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു സി ഹിയർ ഇസ് നത്തിങ് ബട്ട് ദി റെസിസ്റ്റൻസ് റെസിസ്റ്റൻസ് ഇസ് നത്തിങ് ബട്ട് ദി ഒപ്പോസിങ് ഫോഴ്സ് ദറ്റ് യു ഓഫർ ടു എ മൂമെൻറ്റ് വെൻ ദ പേഷ്യൻ ട്രൈസ് ടു പെർഫോം സം മൂമെൻറ്റ് വെൻ യു ട്രൈ ടു അപ്പോസ് ഹിം ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ സേ ദ പേഷ്യൻറ്റ് ഇസ് ട്രൈങ് ടു ഡു എൽബോ ഫ്ലെക്ഷൻ ദിസ് ഇസ് ഫ്രീ മൂമെൻറ്റ് a resisted movement is nothing but you trying to push down the patient's hand and the patient should do elbow flexion opposing your force so this is termed as resistance now this resistance should be correct enough for the patient's condition and the goal that you need to achieve so here for larger group of muscles the resistance can be from 50 to 60% and for smaller group of muscles it can be as low as 20 to 30% so this will be termed as the optimal resistance that a patient requires so the uses of this resistance includes facilitation of the muscle contraction try to do a normal free elbow movement that is elbow flexion and try to do with resistance pushing down the uh, forearm and bringing your elbow into flexion you will feel the muscle contraction getting facilitated the next thing is there will be a increase in the motor control motor control in the sense movement control and the patient will understand the direction in which the movement is being done and he'll get an awareness of what movement he is doing and there will be an increase in the muscle strength when you offer resistance to a movement the next principle that we are going to see here is nothing but the irradiation irradiation is the spread of response to a stimulus when you give maximum resistance to this movement what happens is the stronger group of muscles in the pattern that we are doing say only my biceps is weak the other muscles that are required for this movement my shoulder muscles my forearm group muscles everything is strong enough so what will happen is there will be an overflow of impulses from the stronger muscle group to the weaker muscle group to recruit it into this movement consider that the biceps is weak when the shoulder group muscles and forearm muscles are going to be strong enough this irradiation technique will cause an overflow in the impulses that will help the biceps to complete this movement so this is why patterns are useful in treating weaker muscle groups reinforcement is nothing but recruiting more number of motor neurons to strengthen your movement the next thing that we are going to see here is nothing but the manual contact manual contact will stimulate the muscles as well as if it is going to stimulate your synergistic group of muscles which will uh, help in the reinforcement of the muscle groups the next thing that happens with manual contact is the stimulation of the exoreceptors these exoreceptors are nothing but the touch receptors so the touch that you give to the patient must be comfortable it must be purposeful and it must be directional so these things will help the patient to understand the movement and perform the movement in a comfortable way the next principle that we are going to see is the stretch stimulation occurs when a muscle is elongated the lengthened portion of a muscle is the starting portion of each pattern so throughout the movement that we are going to do these muscles will remain stretched simultaneously stretching will occur at all muscle groups in a particular pattern while performing this stretching stimulation of the muscle spindle occurs and especially in quick stretches this muscle spindle gets activated in a better way the next thing that we are going to see is the traction traction is elongation of the trunk or extremity when you do this kind of movement what happens is the joint receptors they will get activated so this in turn is going to stimulate your alpha motor neurons which will help in strengthening of the muscles the next thing that we are going to see will be the approximation approximation is nothing but the compression that is occurring at the trunk or extremity when you give compression to the trunk or extremity the joint receptors again they'll get activated they'll in turn activate the alpha motor neuron and this will in turn help in the stabilization of the part so this is also a very important factor the next thing the verbal command it is the most important thing in making the patient to perform a movement the patient has to understand with the verbal command that you give that is what kind of movement has to be done 
and in what direction it has to be done everything will come with the verbal command and the very important thing is that your voice tone will be directly proportional to the muscle contraction meaning the voice tone the more louder it is the muscle contraction will be more the more softer and calmer your voice tone it will help in inhibition that is relaxation and pain relief so it plays a very important role here it is divided into three parts the commands that we give first is the preparation preparation is making the patient to adapt a position that will be comfortable for the moment to be performed second one is the action action is nothing but the instruction about the moment the next thing is about the correction part if a patient performs a movement in a wrong way it is our responsibility to correct it so these all comes under verbal commands the most common verbal commands that we will give in pnf is to hold to push or pull and to relax so these are the main things that has to be concentrated the next principle is timing sequencing of motion is very important as far as timing is concerned and uh, this emphasis on timing is very important both for strengthening and relaxation of a muscle the next principle is going to be about the body position and mechanics of the physiotherapist physiotherapist must adapt a position that should be in line with the movement that the patient does his shoulders and pelvis must face the direction of the movement mostly walk standing is preferred the resistance offered by the physiotherapist to the patient should come from the body and not from the distal segments the distal segments should always remain relaxed so these are the things that are the basis and the principles of pnf i hope you would have understood with this video thank you